Don't worry about the gosh dang stats. That's all that matter. Your effort matters. Your demeanor matters. That's all that matters. Are we rolling yet? Rolling. <clears throat> I think that that's a name win uh, against a team that has only lost one before that. And uh, I think it's a by name win. I think it's a name win not for Leah Scott, not for Shannon Gore, not for Taliqua Hamilton or Matt Daniel or whoever else you want to single out. I think it's a name win for Marshall. Uh, program's heading in the right direction. And uh, I think that, that that's just, this is just another, this doesn't prove it. I think it's just another thing that proves it, that we're headed in the right way. Yeah, the final two and a half minute stretch of the third quarter, you all sort of got wide eyed for a second with third pressure, but in the fourth quarter, it was two veterans. Chelsea Romero has a three point play off an offensive rebound to go into the fourth, and then Leah takes over in the fourth. I kept thinking they were going to call it technical because it felt like there was eight orange jerseys out there when they were on defense. <laughs> and uh, uh, they played frantic, and we played a little bit frantic with them. And I'm, you know, cool head wins a hot game. That's the way I was raised by. Coach Daniel, the original Coach Daniel, um, but by them playing that pace, if we could, I know if we could get through it, we got into their legs, and they were playing a little, they were reaching and grabbing, and we got them in a little bit of foul trouble too. So uh, we were resilient enough to get it done. Defensively in the first half, is that the best half you all played all year? Your opinion? I don't know. I feel like we can play better. You know, but you know me. <laughs> I, I don't know. Somebody said, "Is it? How does it feel to?" to win on Thursday, because it's been a while since we won on Thursday. I said, today's Thursday. <laughs> you know, I, I've slept. I'm, they asked me on the radio if I was sleeping now. I've slept seven hours in the last five nights, I think. I mean, it's just the dog days of February for a coach with a, with a team that he wants to be ready for and prepared. And, and uh, <coughs> uh, I think you can see that our team is growing and getting better, whether we win another game or not. Leah, for you, uh, I think it was a four or five point game and, and you score eight during an 11 three run to push it back to double figures. Did you sort of know at that point it, it's time for me to take over this game? They didn't have anybody seem like they could match up with them. Yeah, um, and it kind of looked like the case opened up for me once they started trying to guard me on the half court. So I just took advantage of it and went to the basket strong. I knew they wasn't really going to call foul, so I just went strong. How much did Talitha's presence, uh, Coach Daniel, how much? Did her presence down low really affect their shooting uh, and driving to the rim? It's huge. Before the game, when she walked out of the dressing room, I said, T looks tired. <clears throat> I could just see it in her eyes. And so I wasn't sure what she was going to have in the tank. I mean, Reary's running on bald tires right now. It's just a great thing she's running on good gas because <laughs> uh, she's got miles. And, and But T was able to step up. I challenged her at halftime on the glass. And her effort, was her intensity was just better. She was good offensively in the first half. But it was a little bit more balanced and a little bit more settled in the second half. Shana's sitting beside you, and, and Saturday you all made the decision to, you know, to sit her, and, and it was coach's decision, from what I was told, for her to bounce back from that, being a freshman, going up against the top team in the conference, and, and make some plays down the stretch. What does that say to her? Shana's got a good heart. Um, she is learning a lot. She's going through things that she's never had to go through. Uh, Shana Gore is a great player. I, I've said publicly that I think she's got the opportunity to be one of the best ever play here. Um, but I'm going to coach one of the best ever play here. And uh, she knows that I love her. Her family knows that I love her. Uh, her family's behind us 100%. Not that I checked. <laughs> I didn't check. But I just know because they know that we love her because of the way that we treat our, our student athletes uh, in women's basketball at Marshall. Um, uh, but I think it speaks to her character, not mine, <laughs> uh, the way that she was able to bounce back. She didn't hang her head as much tonight because that bench cures things. And uh, you forget what you're doing it for if you're not careful. It's easy to get, get greedy or get content and, and get in a rut. And I think she's out of the rut. Mentally, how difficult was the last week for you, given that I can't, I mean, I've covered you for five years now, and I can't remember you ever missing a basketball game. How, how difficult was it, and how much did it get your mind right having to sit out last Saturday? Um, it definitely got my mind right. That was the first game I remember having to sit out. And it did teach me a lesson. I just sat over there and cheered on my team as hard as I could because not only I can, I can help them on the bench, and I don't like if I'm not on the court, I can help them on the bench just cheering them on and give them the momentum to win the game. But um, it's definitely, uh, it was definitely a game changer for me. Uh, I'm running more. Eating 
she learned her lesson then. <laughs> Coming off a, a road win against UAB, it's tough to win on the road. How much momentum did you all have going into this game with that win so the puck? Or was it just a clean slate? And you no, know, it was just, I, I just kind of prepared the same way. They asked, they asked how we prepare having won the game for San Antonio, and I want to make sure that we don't have a hangover, so to speak. I said the same way we prepare when we drop Thursday games. We put it to bed and we go on to the next one. Uh, uh, but like I said, whether we win another one or not, this is a great win. We're going to celebrate this win for this press conference. And then we're going to ice bath and we're going to walk through tomorrow and then we're going to play on Saturday. You know, whether we play with the same intensity or not, that remains to be seen. We're dealing with 18 to 22. Are you 22? <laughs> T's 23. T's like 30. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just, I mean, that, that's what we're dealing with. And, and we're the, one of the youngest teams in the country. I know I keep saying that, but that matters. In the dog days of February where it's hard to travel into and out of Huntington, especially in this conference that has three time zones, ask UTEP, we had to come here. So we're just going to keep grinding, keep grinding and see what happens. Girls, did uh, Nourish is normally, you know, she's vocal on the court, but at the same time she's not, you know, a talker or anything like that, you know. Whenever you see her get amped up after getting, you know, taken to the floor, does that wake y'all up a little bit? Does that, that sort of turn things up a notch for y'all? Yeah, they were playing, they were playing kind of scrappy anyway, so, I mean, I didn't let it affect me, but I think we just, she just had a little slip up where it kind of, she bounced back though, so it wasn't like, we were just all like, oh, okay, let's just go ahead and play it out. But it was just like, oh, okay, that type of game, let's, let's go, time to go. I, I want to make something clear. Mm -hmm. Riri's game is her energy. And I sat with really. But I I want to make this perfectly clear. I would be the first one to take up for Marisha Victor. And then Marisha and I, we've been through it. Mm -hmm. But I trust Marisha with our ball club. And I'm going to sit her because I'm going to coach just like a Shana or Leah or T or Riri. So I just set her out. I said, I don't know what happened, what you said, but don't you ever do it again. She said, yes, sir. She sat over there, took it, went back in, and she's fine. The, re the reason she got the technical, it's a blessing and a curse on that play. She she is running on ball tires. She's got a torn ACL. She's playing 38 minutes a game. Her gas is just good because she's been through it with me. So I'll be the first one to take up for Riri. I don't want to get technicals ever, ever. I mean, I got one technical as a player in my life, and it wasn't pretty at home. So I set Riri, but she it was not out of – she was not looking for a fight. She was just competing, and it was a competitive play that happened. And same thing for the other. Well, I don't know the other player, uh, but I would imagine it's the same thing. There was nothing ill intent involved in that. No. At the same time, when you see a team that's eighteen and one coming at, is that is that sort of the nature you got to take? Got to. It's going to be a. It, there's going to be a fight, figurative fight, and you, it's hit or be hit. And we ain't got no problem standing up for for Marshall. Gross step to win a game like this in the overall scope of what you're trying to do, program build? I think so. I mean, I think so. You, you would have to ask administration or supporters more than so than that because I'm just coaching the play. But, I mean, UTEP's receiving top 25 votes. Now, we've got to, hand, we've got to figure out if we can handle that or not, getting this win and moving on, you know. Uh, um, so, but I, I, think it's a, I think it's a name win. I think it's a staple win, you know, a program win that you can not hang your hat on, uh, but it, there's nothing wrong with sticking your chest out and being proud about the way you played tonight. That's what I mean. If you can't be proud about victories, small victories, what are we doing anyway? It's just a game. You know, it's an avenue to teach them to go be competitive every night, whether it's UTEP or whether it's working at Amazon or whether, whatever it is. I mean, be proud about about competing. You hear the Richter scale bouncing around in the other conference. Venues with a win like this tonight? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I try not to worry about that. You know, um, we just work and let let the, let it speak for itself. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna help recruit. You know what we're doing, but that's for other people to judge. I you know I don't I don't put much stock in that. Is it too early to tell that this win could be a major factor in getting you a better seed in the postseason? I think that every win's a major factor in getting us a better seed. I, and I mean that wholeheartedly. Because the bottom half of the league is going to beat up the bottom half of the league. The top half's going to beat up the top half. We're trying to figure out which half we're in. So I think that every 
every outcome is going to be huge. But I think it's big for for tiebreaker scenarios. Everything's big. Leah, what do you remember about playing? Uh, I looked up some stuff. I think you might have played uh, Sparkle Taylor in high school. Yeah, I did. Did you, did you kind of know how to take her from those days? Uh, kind of. Yeah, I knew she was a good. Play. I haven't seen her really play in um, college basketball, but um, she did the same thing here back in the day. So I mean, when it was time for me to guard, I just I knew she didn't really hold the ball too secure. So every time she had, it, I just tried to get it out of hand before she hit the dribble the ball. Anything else? Thanks.